Hey everyone, Trina here with a really quick walkthrough showing you how I created this compare and contrast exercise in Storyline. I did this using the data entry text object with a text variable. We've seen this approach used really effectively for things like prompting the learner to enter their name at the beginning of a course, but I think this is another great use for the text variable, and I hope you'll agree. Looking under the hood of this interaction, I have a slide that provides a definition of some terms and that's followed by a scenario where I want the learner to enter their ideas. And on this third slide, I've recalled the text that the learner entered on the previous slide. So now they can compare and contrast their ideas with mine. Okay, so first things first, I need to insert some sort of a field for my learners to enter their text. So on the Insert menu, I'm going to select the Data Entry object. I'll select the Text Entry object, and then I'll place it on my slide. While I'm here, I'll make some minor tweaks to the data entry field's appearance so that it's a little more consistent with the look of my project. Notice how Storyline added a new trigger to my Triggers panel? That's a text entry trigger, and I'll need that in a moment. For now, I'll just customize this text field by adding a prompt for the learner. Once I've finished adding the text field, I can go to the screen I've created where the learner's text needs to be recalled. First, I'm going to insert a new text box, and then I'll enter percent, and then my variable name, which in this case is text entry 1, followed by another percent sign. This tells Storyline to recall the text entry 1 variable. I'll make a few more adjustments to style this text field before I preview and test my work. And there you have it, another quick and easy way to help learners reflect on what they've learned. There are tons of different creative ways you can repurpose this idea in your courses, so I hope you'll share them with us. That's a wrap. See you next time.